Feeling comfortable with the derivative rules we've covered so far? The derivative of a constant, the power rule, the constant multiple rule, and the sum rule? Let's test your understanding of them with five fun exercises that bring all of those rules together. All right. The first exercise is to differentiate y equals negative 5x cubed. The second is another differentiation exercise. And so is the third. We're just adding more terms in to make it a little bit more complicated and get you some extra practice. For exercise four, use paper and pencil, that is the derivative rules, to find the slope of this function, which is a function we've done some hands-on code demos with already in this Machine Learning Foundation series. So find the slope of this function that we're now familiar with and do it where x is equal to two. If this is familiar to you, it's because we already solved this same problem using the delta method earlier on in this series. And so now I want you to do it again using the derivative rules and seeing how we get the same answer. And then finally, for exercise five, use the same function. So repeat exercise four and use the same derivative that you find in exercise four to now calculate the slope where x is equal to negative one. Again, a point that we've looked at several times at a number of different points in this Machine Learning Foundation series already. So should be familiar, but nicely tied together different approaches that we've had for identifying derivatives. All right, so here are your solutions. Number one comes out to negative 15x squared. Exercise two comes out to 4x plus two. Exercise three comes out to 50x to the power of four minus 18x squared minus one. And I've grouped the solutions to four and five here into one answer. So you first use the derivative rules to calculate the derivative of our function, which comes out to 2x plus 2. And then we can calculate the slope at any point in this curve by dropping in values for x. So for exercise 4, we dropped in x is equal to 2 to identify a slope of 6 at that point. And we drop in a x value of negative 1 to get a slope of 0 at that point. Great work. With the relatively basic derivative rules in your back pocket, we're ready to move on to a few slightly more advanced rules, including the all-important chain rule. We'll start, however, with the product rule. And I should mention that if you'd happen to like a detailed walkthrough of the solutions to all the exercises in this video, you can check out my Udemy course called Machine Learning and Data Science Foundations.